Alrighty, fans of Ottawa, welcome back to another GM mode commentary with your Ottawa Senators. So here we are, boys. Year 7 is upon us, and we made some moves last episode. We retooled again because we missed playoffs. And now you can see there, team status contender. So maybe we've done something right with the retooling session last episode. So we acquired Jacob Verana, Andres Bork, Kevin Hayes. Um, did we acquire, I don't know if we acquired Jason, yeah, we acquired Jason Zucker, basically a whole new third line, we brought back Derek Broussard for one more year, Forbes is a prospect we signed in free agency, um, and yeah, that's basically everybody, so, last episode I was talking about trading John Carlson, I don't know if it's gonna happen, the reason we're gonna trade him is, we got Mazor here, he is, he is a good defenseman, I mean, besides the body checking, he's like, he's, he's like Tory Crew, basically, if you really think about it, and last year he did have a pretty good season, and for his first NHL season, I mean, it took a while for him to grow, but he grew. And Carlson's getting older, so we'll have to figure out what to do with that. It's going to be an interesting thing to do here. But yeah, we oh yeah, we also acquired Verana. So I mean, the team is looking good. It's looking young. It's looking fresh. Bachek is now the starting goaltender for the Ottawa Senators. Hopefully, he can you know take this team on his back. Um, down in the HL players to look forward to: Steen, Quick, and Andronov, along with Stanton. Uh, Molson, anybody else? Anybody else? I mean, you're a Gonchar, you never know, he could grow into something. Defenseman, this, uh, oh yeah, this guy. We moved back in the draft. We had the, we had the eighth overall pick originally, but we moved back to 19th to get Verona from Washington. And we got this guy. So I don't know if he's going to be, uh, ready to come up the NHL ever in this, because we only have three years left. So he could be trade bait. Just keep that in mind. Then we got Natten in there too. I don't think he's going to be anything. But, um,. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we're ready to go. We got all the lines edited. We're we're good. We're ready. I, I want to make the playoffs, boys. I don't, I, I want to make the playoffs. I, I just want to, we won a Stanley Cup here with Ottawa. That's great. But I want to, I want to make the playoffs and win another. So let's get through preseason here. I mean, this doesn't really matter. Um, first game is on the fourth against St. Louis. I just, all I want, make the playoffs, make the playoffs. I don't care how you're in, you're in. I set their expectations a bit too high the past couple years, saying I wanted too much out of them. And did they did they fulfill them? No, but still things happen, you know. So, <sighs> my goodness, uh, salary cap. Yeah, I got that. So let's go through preseason here. Preseason, excuse me. So we had a decent one, but here we are, boys. We're ready to go. Let's go up to the 21st against Florida and see how we do. 3-1 win to start off the season. Not bad. We got the Devils now. We're all probably a very good team, but we get a 4 nothing win. Got the Jets, 6-3 win. Hurricanes now on the 11th. Uh, and that's scouting. Um, Hurricanes, overtime loss, still a point. Got the Red Wings. How, I wonder how the rebuild's going over there for him. Uh, oh, he's out um, October 21st. So not too long, but I don't want him out. Hold on. Alrighty, so we got Sharov in, a 76 overall. And Subban's going to be taking the team on his back for a little bit. In the AHL, we just got a 66 overall in there for Sharov. So... We got everybody back in their positions. Get a shootout win against the Red Wings. Okay, see? And he's back. Just like that. So, good to see that. Well, I can do this real quick. Um, goalies. Send down him. Edit lines. Um, I don't want him back. I don't want him back in for the first game. Yeah, let's Subban play another. Um, let, let, him, let him get refreshed. Oh, he doesn't have the... Oh, he does still. Okay, never mind. We're letting Subban play that game. All right, we got the Flyers and uh, Bruins. Oh, <laughs> He's getting injured again. You gotta be kidding me. They're like, okay, we we can't. Oh my god, I hate when EA Sports does this. I really do. Uh, we got this process. I'm not gonna skip it because it's just gonna keep happening. I bet. Oh, come on, game. All right, nope, nope, stop it. <laughs> All right, get back to this now. And then Boston overtime loss, still a point, still a point. Uh, second rounder, no. We got the Florida Panthers now. Okay, we stop here. So we're 4-1-2. Not bad. Not bad. So let's simulate to the fourth here against the Predators. Okay, spot check is in the lineup. So what we're going to do is this. We are going to send him down. We're going to edit the lines. <laughs> A lot of my goalies always have to get injured, man. It's so dumb. Let him sit on the bench. Let him sit on the bench. 4 to 3 nothing win. Edmonton... I swear to God, oh, I thought he got injured again. 3-2 loss. Now we got the Penguins get a 3-1 win. Islanders, who are having a very good year, suffer a 3-2 loss. Darn it. Um, Belleville, Sorny. Okay, I'll come back with you guys in a second. 
Alrighty, we're back here now, so no. Um, we got Vegas, 6-1 win. Oh my god, we got to clear my trading block. San Jose, 4-2 win. Um, he's back. Okay, I'll just continue. That's down the HL. Oh my god, now we're getting trades out the butt. 3 2 overtime loss, so 8 3 and 3. That's much better start than we've had. We're seasons where we haven't made where we have not made the playoffs. So I like that, boys. I like that. We'll take a look at the stats here in a second. Let me just get everything cleared off here. I actually want Carlson up there. See what teams will send me. So let's get all this cleared out. You simulate faster because they send you less trades if you clear all this off. That's what I've been told. Nope. Ugh, whatever. We'll just add Carlson on here real quick. I mean, how is he even playing? How is he even, where is he, um, Carlson, hello, Carlson, three points, I mean, he's not, not doing horrible, but he's not doing great at the same time, okay, so, coming back here now, we got everything taken off except for Carlson, let's take a look at the stats, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do it after every two months, after every two months, because if we did it month by month, that would take, uh, way too long, <laughs> so, Nashville, let's go with the 18th here against the Red Wings, Predators, first game to start off, get a 3-2 win, very nice, Got the Flames, 5-2 win. I'm liking it. 3-2 win against the Stars. Back-to-back -back games against Tampa. 3-1 win. 6-3 win. I'm liking this, boys. I'm liking this. Carolina. <clears throat> excuse me. Shootout win. All righty. I'm liking this, boys. That's all I got to say is I'm liking this. So we can keep on going. Simulate against LA here. We got Detroit now. Shootout loss. Take our winning streak off. That's great. Ottawa player Thomas Shabbat with an injured elbow until November 30th. Ooh, okay. That will be okay. Let me get him in, and I'll come back with you guys. All right, so we got both the Carlsons playing together. Mazor is getting the top four time he deserves. I'm hoping he can perform. And then we got uh, we got Cherry in here. So keep on simulating here. We get a 3 nothing win against the Canucks. Got the Sabres now, 4-2 win. We got Pittsburgh and Philly. Brother, we love cities right there. Shootout loss. And, oh, we suffer our first regulation loss in a month. And Thomas Shabbat is back. So there's the silver lining. Hold on. All right, we got Thomas Shabbat back. And Carlson has dropped one, which is a bit concerning, boys. He's, he's getting older. It sucks, but it is what it is. So we got Anaheim, 3-2 win. Coyotes, who are playing very good, too. Um, Roster management, whatever. And we suffer 4-1, four, 4-0 four, loss, excuse me, but 17-5-5. Five, and five. That is very good, boys. I'm very pleased to see that. Eric Carlson, point per game. We're first in the Atlantic. I like it, boys. That's very pleasing to see. Ooh, Eric Carlson has dropped in overall. Oh, he's down to a lead. He's not even franchise. Oh, snapple apple. <laughs> All right, so we got Colin White, 25 points. I mean, nobody's really scoring goals. But at the same time, it's been 25, it's 27 games, and Mike Hoffman has 10. So that's okay. It is what it is. It's not nothing too concerning. We're playing good hockey. Uh, wow. Andres Bork, or Anders Bork. Anders, Anders, not Andres. Anders Bork, 13 points. Cannot complain. Playing just as good as the top six is. Um, who is underperforming? Um, Pranko, Carlson, Missouri playing good. Hayes, I, not bad, not bad. Zucker, Broussard, Shabbat. Well, he was injured, but still, I don't know. Um... Take it day by day, though, day by day. So I was spot check doing. So he's playing pretty good. 14, 4, and 2, two shutouts. Subban's playing a great backup right now. And yeah, I like this, boys. Only giving up two goals a game. Let's keep it that way. So yeah, but um I think we can just keep on going here. Nothing, uh, nothing to really worry about as of now. So keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Um we'll go up to the 15th here against the Bruins. Got LA here. We suffer a 4 1 loss. Ouch. They weren't a really good team. That's why I was annoyed by that. Anaheim, can we get a 3 2 overtime win? Got rain the Rangers now, a 2 1 win. Arizona, 4 1 win. Noise. Noise. Ooh, 4 2 loss there. Dallas and Boston back to back, 1 0 win there. We have 20 wins now, so that's good to see. Uh, yeah, simulate to the fourth here against the Golden Knights. Boston 2-1 win. Good to see. And uh, our HL affiliate's playing pretty good right now, too, so I like that. Um, win then a loss against the Penguins and Capitals. Got the Devils. <clears throat> Ooh, shoot, I lost. Still a point, though. Still a point. Not complaining. Got the Canucks and Blackhawks. It, ooh, whoa. High scoring game there. 8 to 5 and a 3 2 overtime loss. 6 1 win there against the Flames. 3 2 shootout win against the Canadians. Yeah. Keep on going. We'll stop. Uh, we'll, we'll, go, we'll obviously stop and look at the stats at the third, but we'll stop here at the 20th just to not overwhelm you guys. Vit, poor Vegas, man. They're still struggling over there. Shootout loss against them. We'll find another way to lose to LA, man. That's annoying. 
Um, back to back wins there. Very nice. Very nice. I'm liking this. I like it. I'm happy, man. This makes me happy to see. Oh, 6 3 loss. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Take a step back. No. <laughs> oh, 4 2 loss. Come on, boys. Let's get some wins back now. Ah, two games, 10 goals. Not very good there by the goaltending and defensive side of the Senators, but we'll find a way back. Oh, what the heck? 3 nothing loss. There we go. Shootout win. Got the Jets and Avalanche now. Overtime win. 6-2 loss. I like a bit more wins, boys, you know, just to keep the good times rolling. Overtime win. 2 nothing. Like we're winning and we're losing. That's a little concerning. But we're still playing some good hockey. Let's, we're not going to go on a 10-game winning streak all the time. Colin White, 50 points. Yeah, well, holy smokes, we're way ahead of the competition right now by uh, 12 points. And 12 points means a lot, boys. So Colin White is leading the team with 50 points. And he has really j jacked up the goal scoring, which is good to see. And he has 30 assists along with the Carlson playing great. Yes, go. <sighs> Do we move him up? Because this is a bit concerning. That, that, that. That did the that second line is all minuses. But do we move him up? Or do, like cause Hoffman He's playing good. But him and Ho I feel like Hoffman and White on the same line isn't that great of an idea because they're both goal scorers and I feel like that's slowing their goal scoring down. And Biesca's getting assist, so Let's um let's try to let's try to get Biasco up there. That's the plan. We're bringing up Biasco, the first the franchise player to the first line. If it doesn't work, if we start losing games, then I'll obviously switch it back. But yeah, 26 assists compared to 17. So let's just keep it like that. Gallagher, Gallagher, wait, yeah, Gallagher can get Gallagher can get assists, but I like Verano up there. He's playing very good. See, I'm happy we made that trade to get him. But um, how's Bocek doing? He's playing pretty good. Yeah, I'm liking it. Mike, and then here we'll take a look at the AHL, see if anybody's got growth quick. Now a fourth liner, um, 45 points in 52 games. That's good to see. Um, Steen is playing okay. Andronov playing good. Stanton, not bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Minus 17. That's a bit. <laughs> oops. Like, oops. <laughs> uh, whoa, pro. Oh, wow. Pro, pro, pros pal. Pros pal. He's gotten a big jump. Went from a 53 to a 64 not in half a season, basically. So that's good to see. Mazzura, he's playing some good hockey. Well, I mean, Carlson's basically putting up the same numbers he is. 17 points, 21 points. It's only four more points. So maybe this offseason Carlson gets traded. But we can't can't be thinking about that right now. We got to keep, uh, keep thinking about winning games and making it to the playoffs, you know. All right, so we're a month before the deadline. We, we're sitting in a good spot right now. I say we keep on going. Tampa Bay now. Suffer a 4-2 loss. San Jose, 4-2 win. Minnesota, like, what are we freaking doing? We're, we're winning, then we're losing. Like, that's a little concerning. I like to win, like, four games and lose. Like that, there we go. Back-to-back -back wins. Get this one against Washington. There we go. I, I, I like where we are. We're, we're in first. We were ahead by 12 points last I checked. But you don't want to give anybody any ground. You just don't. Trade deadline, boys. I'm, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna really trade for anybody unless there's somebody huge on the block, and then we'll definitely go all in for. But I don't think I want to go after anybody as of right now. Um, suffer a 4-2 loss there against Buffalo. Blue Jackets get a 3-1 win. Can we break 40 wins before the deadline? Um, that's a player in the AHL. I'll be right back. Alrighty, back here now. We got Tampa. 4-3 loss. Ouch. Let's get back-to-back -back wins here. Get 40 wins before the deadline. Um, Montreal, 6-2 win. Buffalo, 6-2 so, losses. But 39 at 19 and 8. That's very good, boys. I like it. Makes me happy. We still sit. We, we are way ahead. We are 14 points. We are 14 points ahead against second place, which is Tampa. Or, yeah, Tampa. Like, look at that. Buffalo to Tampa. Or, yeah, Buffalo. Well, I'll say, I'll say Toronto to Tampa is a big dog fight. We're just raining on top of everybody right now. But... Um, we'll check the stats one more time here before, in case we do make any trades. You can just see what their stats were. But Colin White, 62 points. I mean, Biesca's minus has gone down, but Carlson is now minus, which is a bit odd. But his point totals are up, so I'm going to keep Biesca up there. we got to keep him up there. Yeah, see Mike Hoffman. He's playing better now. I like it. I like it. It's all working out. See, look, now now Imato, like, look, that line's a plus. Only It's just Biesca taking a lot of penalties. Him and White taking a lot of penalties, actually. Uh, interesting. We gotta we gotta discipline you, Biesco. Maybe I should make him a playmaker and see if he does it like where's his discipline? His discipline's an eighty six. You think it'd be okay, but
maybe it's because he's such a big guy throw those big hits and then they go down awkwardly oh we got to call a penalty for that like who knows zucker 23 points mazora has 21 and carlson only has 27 so we'll keep carlson for the playoffs but just keep in mind he may not i don't think he's going to be around next season with the senators um goaltender spot check he's playing some good hockey I like it, man. Spotcheck and Subban. What a great pairing these guys are. I'm happy that they're playing well. Good to see that. So, that being said, let's see if there's any trades that need to be made, though. I don't think we'll make a trade unless there's a big name player. So, I'll be back with you guys in a second here. Well, if we want to talk about going all in here, if we go to L.A. <laughs> Drew Doughty on the trading block. He's not He's not having a Drew Doughty type. Well, he's playing okay. He's not, not putting up 60 points or anything, but... Hey, I mean, we could go after him. I don't think I don't think we'd get him though. What would we have to give up? We'd have to give up like Post Pal and freaking what's his name and Carlson. I don't think I don't know if we should do that to be honest. Like I said, keep the good times rolling with the team. Don't make any change. Don't make any big changes right now. Like we could. I mean, Anze Kopitar is injured though. Well, tell me how long he's. I want to see how. Wait a minute. I would actually like to bring Anze Kopitar to the. Uh, Ottawa Senators, because, you know, that could be a good third-line center. I know we have Hayes there, but make the center depth even stronger. So, can we tell, um, injury report. How long would he be injured for? Um, Ottawa Senators, we gotta go to LA Kings. LA Kings, uh, mild concussion returning March 6th. Wait, let's see. March 6th, today is what? February 28th. Screw it, we're going after him. We are going after him, the man, the myth, the legend, Anze Kopitar. We need that leadership, especially in the bottom six. He'll be fine with playing there. He has, yeah, I mean, his trade value isn't crazy, but we can get something. So, who's our fourth line center, as a matter of fact? Derek, ooh. Derek Pissar, he's a minus six. I don't want to trade Derek Pissar yet. At all, I mean. Well, okay, can I switch to the left wingers? Uh, No, we got Bork playing the third line. We got Forbes. I mean, I don't think I don't see him growing anything. But who's uh, who's playing the third line right wing? We got Watson playing the third line right wing. Um, yeah, I think Forbes is gonna go. They want him. We'll throw him in there. Give him a younger player. Los Angeles would be under the league. Oh, so does that mean oh, we can't do this trade then? Because we gotta give him like Zucker, right? Wait, let's see. If, wait, wait. If that does it, maybe that does it. <laughs> But Zucker is playing pretty good, and I don't want to give that. <sighs> hmm, this is gonna be a little complicated of how we do this. Um, <laughs> uh, snaps. Um, you know, but we can't make that. Yeah, we can't. No, shoot, bro. <laughs> Darn it, this isn't gonna work. We <sighs> we would have to throw Hayes in it, and am I? Willing to do that? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, what if we throw in Derek Broussard? Does the trade work? Wait, no. Stop it. Do this. No, 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 no. Um, it'd be under still. Ah, uh, I. This is Jason Zucker. He's thirty-two. And we got him. We got him for three more years at three point five. He's had an exceptionally good season with us. He's on the penalty kill, I believe, too. I mean, he's such a good player for what we have, Matt. And then we're only going to have Kopitar for this one year. And he has 39 points. He's a plus five. I mean, I think I think we got to do it, boys. I think we got to give him a Zucker. So, we got Forbes and Zucker. So, let's take uh, who else they want to trade away. Who else do they, do they want to trade away? Um, sure, Davison, whatever. Uh, that's obviously not going to be enough, so... Hmm. Here, let's go to skaters matching the block. Um, right wing power forward. We already got our power forward, so we can throw this in there. So, Forbes, Zook... Okay, but Forbes is also a player. Will that just do it? Zooker and... What's his name? Uh, Chris Bone... <laughs> Please, please tell me this is not his name. Bone, 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 her, bone. I don't even know. Chris Bogue. We'll call him that. Chris Bogue. For he was drafted 35th overall. He's not a bad player, but we need Anze Kopitar. This could help the team even more. Propose it. Trade accepted. Very nice. So go to raw. Yeah, go to roster moves. What's that gonna do? 
Is so is he down in the AHL? What do we gotta fix? Who's gotta be sent down? Um Hello? Um what? <laughs> Man, he can still go down in the CHL? Jesus Christ. <laughs> but okay, wait. What, okay, let me figure out the problem here. This is weird. Hold on. Alrighty, so there we go. We got Kopitar. He's injured for a couple more games, but we brought him to the team. We got Forbes on the third line right now, and we brought in Hedberg to play. So we'll be okay for these next couple games, but I think bringing in Kopitar is going to bring some more veterancy to the team, which I like. You know, I like that. So... I think we're just going to finish the year out, boys. I think we're set in stone to make the playoffs, which I'm very happy about. But we got to take this day by day. I still want to have a good, consistent record at the end of the season. So let's go here. Philadelphia, starting off after making that trade. Olsen, uh, that's down the H. I don't care. Uh, we get a 5-1 win, and there he is. Anze Kopitar is back. But we'll actually, we'll continue this game without him, and then we'll put him in. I don't want him getting hurt. He just came off a mild concussion, and we suffer a 5-1 loss. But we have 40 wins on the season now, so that's good to see. Let's add Kopitar in, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alrighty, so here he is. We got Kopitar on the second line penalty kill with Watson, and then he's on the second line three-man PK. You know, got to give all that ice time to Colin White. <laughs> but there he is, so he's now back on the team, ready to go. Oops, I don't think I showed you what line he's on. So I wanted to spread out the depth a bit more. So here he is. He's on the third line. We got Hayes on the fourth. We're going to we're gonna have Forbes here. I don't know how he's really going to do. I mean, he's, uh, he's just he's so tiny. <laughs> he's so tiny. But, uh, yeah, that's my plan, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I think I think we'll be fine. We'll be doing okay. Kopitar's got a couple days here to rest before our next game, which is on the 10th. So he's got a four-day break. Can just, re just regroup himself, and we'll go here to the 24th against the Bruins. So let's have a strong finish, boys. Oh, we need 10 more wins for 50. That's the goal. Get 50 wins now. New York Rangers, 2-0 win. Very nice. Avalanche and Maple Leafs now. Get a 1-0 win there and then a 3-0 win. Nice. I'm loving it. Oh, 3-2 shootout loss. We went six. We went three games there without a goal being scored on us. That was great. Good job to the goaltending and the whole team in general. Let's keep going now. So winning games, haven't lost one in regulation. Knock on wood. <laughs> so let's just finish the season out here. Boston Bruins now, 4-0 win. Maple Leafs get a 3-1 win. Nice. Uh, Buffalo Sabres, uh, Tucker Pullman injured with a short, a sore shoulder. I can just edit that real quick. No reason to skip or jump clips, I should say. Let's get to Chariot. There we go. Got him in. Just like that. Uh, Buffalo, 3-1 win. Blue Jackets, jo whoa, John Carlson, mild concussion. I'll just do it real quick, though, until April 3rd, I believe it says. So hopefully he doesn't miss any playoff games. Get Mazzara in there, and then... Oh, wait, we don't... <laughs> Shoot, we're going to have to play a forward. Uh, <laughs> Hedberg, you're playing defense for the first time in your career. Deal with it. Blue Jackets, going to suffer a 3 nothing loss, then a shootout loss. He's back now. I'm just doing this real quick. It's not going to take too long. Send down... Yep. No, get Hedberg out of there. <laughs> So, like that, there we go. Hopefully he doesn't get injured by playing the day after. Uh, multiple players are ready to be dressed. Um, hello? Um, hello? Pullman, that's one. <laughs> get your get your stuff together, game. No. <laughs> so get Pullman back in there. Okay, defense core is all good now. So Maple Leafs, get us 3-2 shootout win. One more win, boys, one more. Oh, shootout loss. Come on, get this one here against Detroit. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We lose 5-2. to two. 49 wins. <laughs> Whatever. Good year, boys. I'm happy. It's a great year. Made it back to the playoffs, and we made it back in style. Getting 109 points, first in the division. Colin White, 70 points. So let's take a look here at the stats. I'm, I'm happy. We, we made it back to the playoffs. That was the goal this year, and they did it. 70 points for Colin White. Is that his highest scoring season? Yeah, it is. So tip, tip my hat to him. Uh, Julian Biesco with the 30-goal, 68-point season. Wow, he... Doubled his point totals, basically. Verana. Look at that trade. Look how great he played on that first line with White and BS. Look at the first line. Top three players. Carlson there. Mike Hoffman. He's playing fine as a 34-year-old. I'm not complaining. Wait, what was that one year? Yeah, he had 72 points. I mean, those, year, those, those years are long gone now, but I'm really happy he's still performing great. Brendan Gallagher, Andre Kopitar. See, he wasn't a bad pickup. Amido, you know, he wasn't... He's You know, I thought he could do better, but he's doing just fine, I guess. He can get, hopefully he'll get going. There's Carlson, 32 point, but I mean, Mazzara right behind him. Perenko, like, uh, Anders Bork, 31 points on the third line. Tip my hat to you. Hayes, 22 points. I mean, he was playing on the fourth line for a little bit too. 
Shabbat, nice. Broussard, not bad. Watson, Forbes, yeah. I'm liking it. Good job, boys. Good job. And uh, the, the man, Oldrich Spacek. 38 wins. Very, wow. Seven shutouts. That's great. Save percentage of .922. Just giving up a little over two goals per game. Subban played great as a backup. So... Let's go to all skaters here, and let's go to every team, um, entire league. Let's see, who led the league in points? John Tavares with 98. 50 goals, 48 assists. Steven Stamkos right behind him with 91. Patrick Laine with 90. Shifley, 87. McDavid, 82. So, yeah, Hosang up there, he was just feeding the puck to freaking Tavares. So, you can see why he had those points. Kucherov, yep. Sagan saw Nico Hishe. Wow. 75 points for the 25 year old. That, that has to be his highest point season. Yeah. Good job to him. Um, oh, I was about to say Irvin. Yep. Franchise player for the Blue Jackets. 74 points. Dry saddle. Okay. So, yeah, you can see Hishe and Hall. They were just giving the puck to each other, scoring goals. Boys, that what a great defenseman he is. That's all I got to say. Getting more points than Eric Carlson. Uh, Drew in. I don't even know how he got that many points on. On uh, with Montreal, I mean. So there's Colin White up there, r ripping with the Red Wings. Uh, there's Bieska. There he is, 68 points. Uh, Strom, Wiljegren, wow, yeah, wow. Jost, um, Huberdo, Kane. Ooh, Kane kind of regressed. Well, he is, he is 35. Never mind, I didn't know that. Kind of forgot about that. Um, Joe Valeno, Brad Martian. There's Verona. See, look, Verona's up here with Carl with Crosby in them. See, that's you know you had a good year when you beat Crosby in points, regardless of how you got them. Um, Dylan Orkin, 62. PK Subban, 62. Um, Ryan Strom got 60 points. How? Zabinajad, Keller, Forsberg. Uh, I just need if there's any other names down here. I should be like. Nate McKinnon, yeah, okay, just just seeing if there's any names. Marchesto, what? Christian N with freaking 60 po 58 points. Let me trade for this man. Holy snap, holy crap, bro. What? what? <laughs> On the Red Wings, Pan. I'm just seeing if there's anybody else I should be looking after here. Uh, Pavel Zak, 57 points, okay, yeah. There's McAvoy, okay, I don't think there's anybody else. Okay, we're done here. So who had the most goals? John Tavares. Yeah, I mean, uh, where's, what's his name? Um, um, hello? Um, um, am I, am I dumb? There's Bieska. Okay, Colin White's down here. Bieska had more goals than White. Wow. All right, so Bieska was our highest goal, was our highest goal scorer. Will Jagran with 61 points. He's probably winning the Norris, I imagine. Um, who had the most assists for our team? Carlson. Tip my hat to you. There's Branstrom for the, uh, Golden Knights. So what about goaltenders? Let's see here. Who had the most who had the most wins in the NHL? Oops, just hit the wrong button. Um Neljovic for the Carolina Hurricanes. Stuart Skinner, a freaking 81 overall goaltender at 42 wins. Ben Bishop. <laughs> I mean, I can understand because he's a veteran, but what the heck, man? 37 years old. He should be in a freaking wheelchair. Jesus, man. Okay. Um, yep, you can see the rest of the <laughs> I should just trade for this man right now. What the heck? Look at this. Look at this. He goes from having 16 to 20 win seasons to freaking 44 and 30. That's unbelievable. Oh, my God. Robin Wayne, you got to be kidding me. Just as many wins as Carey Price. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, who had the uh, most shutouts in the league? <laughs> Antiranta with 10 on the freaking Coyote. Stewart Skinner, oh, my God. Uh, and there's spot check. Oh, my God. Oh, the goaltending, man. The goaltending. How the rookie skaters do? Who had the most points? So there you go. Kevin Scun. Oh, what a name. Uh, with the most points. Just beating out Macmillan by one. <coughs> so it was close between these two. A lot of other players behind them, too, that played pretty good. Um, rookie goalies, who played the best? Um, This guy. <laughs> that guy. Uh, Vladimir Kajnikov. <laughs> what a name. What a name. So there you go, boys. That's uh, Those are all the individual stats. Let's take a look at the entire league. So, oh, we won, we won the President's Trophy. You got to be kidding me. With only 109 points? I'll take it. I'll take it. Edmondson, yeah, I mean, that's that's great to see, man. We won the President's Trophy. Anaheim will be, or no, we'll, pff, Winnipeg, Winnipeg. Patrick Line had 90 points. And they barely made the playoffs. Okay, that's that's weird. Um, so yeah, I can see the league there. Wow, Vegas. Poor Vegas, man. I just feel bad for him. 
it is what it is though but there you can see all that um i would like to take a look at the um ottawa senators individual stats so um goals four had the most goals we had the most goal for in the division scoring about three goals a game gave up about two and a half goals which that could be a little bit better but it is what it is how was our power play power play was actually pretty good this year so i'm good to see that um our penalty kill is pretty good too that's good to see yeah, we are much better at home well only by a couple games but yeah we played good boys we played good i like it i like it and then we'll check on the hl here see how they're doing um henry quick 76 points and um i imagine they'll, they'll be making the playoffs so yep henry quick 76 points he'll be ready for the nhl next year andronov yep good to see how where's uh post pal yep up to a 66 now like i said i don't know if we're gonna keep him don't get too attached to him because i don't know if we're going to keep him but yeah okay so they made the playoffs i see i was hoping they didn't make the playoffs and i would call up quick and have him as a healthy scratch rather than um headberg or fast and fast you know but we'll see how it goes wait who's on the wait wait a minute why is Um. Hello. Why is Pullman on the power play? Um. Um. Game. <laughs> G game. <laughs> what the heck? Why? I guess when I must have taken him out because he got injured. Um. What? Okay. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus, man. Put him back in. Okay. That that was a good thing to notice because that could have went. So, I mean, that could have went bad really quick. Get Carlson back. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Put Pullman back right where he belongs. Sorry, Pullman, but you don't belong. You don't play there. <laughs> Get Missouri in there. He gets points, even though three on three doesn't matter because we are going into the playoffs. So yeah, good year, boys. Good year. I tip my hat to you. Round of applause. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, and actually, before one last thing, let's just take a look at the draft class. Always got to keep your. Always got to keep on scouting just to see. You never know who you can get. Um. Okay. <laughs> Franchise. <laughs> Fucking franchise goalie. Oh my god. Pierre Robichaud. What is this name, man? Like, oh my. I'm gonna have to Google some of these names to pronounce them right. Alright, so yeah, two uh, exact franchise. Ooh, an exact elite goaltender in the third round. Pin that. Exact top six in the first round. Pin that. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> freaking. There's. We got Brent back. <laughs> we got Ben Bishop's little brother <laughs> getting drafted, going undrafted. We'll pin that. <laughs> Oh my god, man, these drafts are so funny sometimes, though. Okay, so, we got everything out of the way now. Let's see who we're going to be going up against in round number one in the year seven playoffs. Regular season has ended, and we are going up against the New York Rangers. Alrighty, boys, we are, we are rivals with them. This will be a way to start off the playoffs. So yeah, guys, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to more content like this, and I'll see you guys in round number one.